In iPadOS 14, SwiftUI can now show sidebars for iPads. Let's look at how it's done in some code. First, define your views. I'll say there's a struct called sidebar that conforms to view, has var body, returns some view, I'll just do text sidebar, so we can see it's there. I'll then copy that and say, this is our primary view. This would usually be on the left-hand side, a list view or something like that. I'll say primary, and then a third one, this would be our detail view. So I'll do detail in here. So we have three views now, sidebar, primary, and detail. And now in our content view, we can start using those to build an iPadOS sidebar. I'll say in here, we have a navigation view. Then we have our sidebar first, then our primary view, and now also our detail view. I press Command R to build and run that using the iPad Pro fourth gen simulator. And here's primary, here's detail, and now this button appears automatically. I can press that to bring in or hide the sidebar. It's really, really nice. So switch wires, you can see, it's taking care of showing that button for us, bringing it in and out for us automatically. If we had uh, multiple apps open, say we had Safari over here, it would take care of collapsing them down for us, so there's less space now. That one comes in, it's now a navigation view over here, like that, automatically collapsing it all down for us. Now, if you're gonna use these sidebars with a list, I recommend you customize this very carefully. Let's try that out first. Um, if I go back to my sidebar and say there is a list of one to 100 with I coming in and text, I'll do uh, row I, boom. Um, I've got a list here now. When you have lists in your sidebar, you should really use dot list style, sidebar list style. So you get a system standard sidebar look and feel. Let's see how that looks on the iPad. So our two main views are unaffected, but now the sidebar comes in this new gray look and feel to match a system standard look for iPadOS sidebars.